Okay, boys, time to tell you about my trip to Russia. Boy, I'm not doing no time lapse. I'm starting my video now. So be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, boy. Be quiet, Fergus. Fergus. Busker. Shit, mate. Okay, anyway. Just came out of the Finnish embassy. Got my little passport. Got my all the stuff. Yeah, boy. I was doing well. Um, though, when I walked up to the desk, I walked up to the desk and gave her the passport and stuff. That was good. That was sweet. You're looking sweet, Fergus. That was sweet. Walked up to the desk, gave the passport, and then she gave the passport back, and I'm like, Kitos, walked off. And then she's like, eh, 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 eh. I'm like, oh shit, I've done something wrong, oh shit, the police are gonna come and get me. They're gonna kick my butt or something. No, she, she needed to print off a piece of paper for me. And then she gave a red stamp, and that was all good, yeah, so. That was the Russian embassy, that was fun. And overall, yeah, now we're going to Russia. Yep, boy. And they've got lots of these cool hats, like everywhere. These awesome hats. Now you have to say it in Finnish. What? No, I'm not saying none of that in Finnish. I, I literally ramble. I don't remember half of it. Wait, right, this is Fergus. He's one of the Australians. He's a legend. Australia, mate. Australia, mate. And this is V. 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 Billy, Billy, Billy. This is Billy. Sub He's dudes. one of the Rotex. Hey boy. Anyway, have a good one. Stay awesome. Now, I must admit, when I was going there, I was like, it's gonna be one hell of a place with tanks going down the street or something, and this guy with a machine gun being like, oh, oh, what's going on? What's going on? Huh? You wanna fight, boys? You wanna fight? You're from Australia, mate. Bring it, bring it. And I'd be all like, oh damn, son. Oh damn. Bring it, bring it. I'm gonna go, f I can fight bears, obviously, mate. I can fight bears, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, when I got there, though, I was greeted with something very, very different. So, this is my highlights and my point of view from my trip to good old St. Petersburg. We crossed the Russian border pretty easily, and once we got across, I was like, yep, yeah, we're in Russia. And the roads were normal after about five minutes and then they started becoming a bit I don't know like let's just say Russian some good old Russian traffic lights that look like normal traffic lights there's some Russian buses there that's a Russian tree some Russian fences where I'm driving on a Russian road there's a Russian ambulance I think yeah, it looks like a Russian ambulance could be the police it looks like the ambulance, yeah. That looks like a Russian old building. It's Russian. Yeah, hey, mate. Also, um, quick joke about the ambulance. It was rushing around. Oof! I'm so good at jokes. Jokes. Thank you. Thank you. And it's all in Russian. There's a Russian billboard over there. I can't read it. Because it's in Russian. But yeah. That says stop. Where? Stop. There's a Russian sign. It says stop. I don't yep, know. some more Russian buildings. A Russian bridge we are now driving on. Guess what, guys? I'm saying all this because we're in Russia. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Almost to St. Petersburg. Yeah, boy. I think everybody was trying to get out of Russia 
and a massive skyscraper too. That was huge. Biggest skyscraper in Europe apparently. Pretty cool, eh? And then got to the hotel room. This hotel room is a massive, absolutely huge. This, this right here is a well-deserved view. Like, ooh, ooh. this, <coughs> this hotel. Okay, okay. This hotel we're in is absolutely massive, massive. Like the rooms go on for forever. Like, holy shit. Do you see this? This is, this is a sign. Okay. Okay, this is a sign. This is 7001. It's not focusing. See, yep, 7001. And it rolls all the way down, all the way. Goes for a bit of a tour. And then ends up at 7148. So, like, what the what? It's just huge. Like, the hallway's going on forever. Like, literally forever. Just... Endless walls and endless doors, it's just... <sighs> and we had this massive trouble. We had... We had some big issues when getting up to this room because... Okay, we thought for a bit that it was on room... It was on floor two, okay? So we're like, we take the elevator. Take the elevator up. Someone forgets to press floor number two. So we don't get off floor number two. We go all the way up to floor eight. Get off floor eight, come back down. We forgot to press number two again. No, we didn't forget to press number two. No, we didn't. Um, instead, no, we couldn't get out because there was lots of people in front of us, which was a bit of a douche. That was bad. So we went back down to floor one, got off on floor number two through my sheer willpower and being like, just push through, just push through. Uh, we walked around floor two, realized it was the wrong floor. Um, and then we, good old, and then we got to see a good old performance of good old Michael Bublé. This is my roommate, Sime. He's a legend. Yeah, mate. And like, we were both on floor number two. That was fun. And so good old Fergus, William and I just went, screw it. We're going up the stairs. Went up the stairs like legends we are because we're smart. Sime took the, uh, elevator because he has a big old blue bag there he took a bit longer and then yeah I ended up in this room it's a pretty good room it's got this nice little city place for me to sit on when I'm bored which is nice and yeah now we're gonna head up for a well-deserved meal of dinner in Russia so wish me luck stay awesome thing did that fell asleep the next day this was when we had Woke up about five o'clock because me mates and I were thinking, yeah, let's go look at the Russian sunrise. Here's one. Lots of buses. A beautiful Russian one. 50% off. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds like a good deal. But beautiful morning. Good old Russia. Smell that fresh smoky air. Traffic, buses, not much of a view, but it's pretty nice. I like it. Russia. So once we did that, came back, then we got to visit the most spectacular and beautiful place, like in St. Petersburg. It was awesome. It is called the Hermitage. Now this place is huge. Like I thought the hotel room was huge. This place blows that out of the water, like full on. Australia has beaches, St. Petersburg has the Hermitage. You could spend 30 seconds on each, of, what's it called, each thing, each painting, each artwork, each room, each type of object, and it would take you in total probably like 10 years to visit them. It is insane how much there is. And we got to see a fair bit of it actually, which was really cool. There was buildings of gold, it was just beautiful. Next, we got to visit this really cool place, which was called like the Kant's Karma or something. But it was started by the Russian Tsar Peter the First, who was a bit of a doctor himself. And like this place was proper creepy. Like proper creepy, mate. There was like babies that came with two heads. It was like a horror show. Truly. It was awesome. 
Then, after that, we went home, went to the hotel, and then, boy, boy, we got to see the traditional Russian dance, and it was so sick, so sick. Like, we got to see when they come down onto, like, the crouching position and flung out the legs, like, the... I don't have any footage of that, um, because I'm not allowed to record, so I'm just gonna, like, demonstrate with my fingers, but, like, the... Just search it up, it'd be right. Then he came home, then the next day, didn't wake up so early because we're a bit slack. Uh, but had a quick trip into the town. The next day we hit the town and the town is awesome. On the main street of St. Petersburg, you've got like just palaces and you're like, just palaces. So like you just go down the street, palace, 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 oh, castle, yeah mates, church that looks like a freaking palace, cafe that looks like a palace. <laughs> St. Petersburg and palaces is just awesome. So we did that. Um, then we just looked at some more cathedrals, some more churches, a big pirate ship that has a gym inside of it. Like, that was cool. Then, we got to hit the town ourselves. I was good with good old Unhel, and we visited pretty much all the ch churches and stuff. It was very, very nice. Went on the bus, went on for a quick trip by ourselves, which was a lot of fun. Then returned home and went to a ballet where we watched The Nutcracker. I must admit, I was a bit bored of Nutcracker uh, ballet because I'm not much of a dancer myself. I tried looking at it as a sport, still kind of bored me. My favorite part though was the ending. Not because of the performance and stuff. That was still very nice, beautiful bit boring for me, but very nice and beautiful. I can appreciate that. But this one guy stood up and throughout the ending, he's just like, bravo, bravo, bravo. And I joined in, of course, because I'm, I'm Australian. And bravo! <laughs> oh, yeah! Mama bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Hell yeah. That's what I do. And I'm just like, bravo! So, yeah, did that, went to sleep. Well, first we had a big old sort of slight party with chips and soft drink. Went to sleep, then next day went home on the bus. So that was my trip to Russia. Awesome, awesome. There was nothing that really happened on the way home on the bus, but I really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, Thanks for watching. Kitos, kitos, cats wait. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay awesome. Fletch Kendall.